thank you. Um, we wish to thank the scientific committee for selecting this abstract, and I assure you, assure you, that there will be audience participation required uh, in this talk. I am presenting on behalf of the Johnson & Johnson Active Safety Surveillance Using Real World Evidence Team, or the ASSURE team. We are a multidisciplinary team with the support of our global epidemiology organization as well as our global medical safety organization. We are tasked with rapid delivery of high quality evidence to support active medical product safety surveillance. We utilize, I think everybody has seen this slide, we, we, uh, we utilize real world data to stand, standardized in the OMOP CDM across multiple databases and the Odyssey standardized analytic tools within the strategist framework, thank you to uh, the development by Anthony Senna which was presented at the, at the last plenary. Strategies, as you know, is a set of R packages for coordination and execution of analytics within the Hades modules. This standardized design takes the following inputs, target or our drugs of exposure of interest, comparator, indication, outcome, and the time at risk. This analysis package then produces the reliable evidence that we need to make the decisions in, within our organization. We get the, uh, a shiny dashboard to document the cohort diagnostics, the cohort characterization, the patient level prediction, and as you already saw with regards to uh, the population level estimations from comparative cohort and self-controlled case series. To date, we have responded to over 20 requests, we just got another one last night, and delivered results within an average approximately about 45 days. Some requests close very quickly due to not being feasible, which is empirically evaluated through our database diagnostics. Some are also not feasible based on uh, the inability to translate the outcomes into computable phenotypes. Other larger requests often take a few days of compute time uh, or phenotype development activities that are ongoing within our team. Assure fits into the life cycle of, uh, of signal evaluation portion of the life cycle management of uh, safety signals within J&J. We work collaboratively with our medical safety officers and therapeutic area epidemiologists to provide timely evidence for final decisions and discussions at safety uh, management team meetings. To date, this work has provided greater support to our established products group, but we have actually crossed all therapeutic areas with requests. A typical discussion often starts with a medical safety officer and is focused on a marketed product and an identified safety concern from our pharmacovigilance activities. Most of our time is spent on characterizing the clinical concept and translating that into a workable computable phenotype if one does not already exist within our library. An example of these are, you can think of those two Save Our Sisyphus challenges as the types of examples of the research questions that would come into our organization. This is the standardized uh, set of packages. I just want to spend a few moments on this. These analyses implement the methods that Martin Shumi and Patrick Ryan discussed at this symposium last year and throughout the year at our Save Our Sisyphus Challenge. Briefly, we utilize the database diagnostic tool developed by Claire Blackader to identify candidate data resources for analysis across our internal network of available resources. We utilize the comparator selection tool developed by Justin Bond, Dave Kern, and others to identify the candidate comparators so that we're utilizing empiric evidence to select those comparators. We utilize our phenotype library that's internally managed by AZA to select our, our T, C, I, and O co uh, cohorts. We select negative controls for the empiric calibration with the methods outlined by Erica Voss at the 2019 symposium and subsequent presentations. And our JSON specifications that get created out of this that you saw that Senna was uh, presenting at the, at the last plenary are translated into a highly documented protocol with a tool developed by Jenna Reps for sort of ease of review and translation of the JSON specifications into a human readable uh, document. These results are, are viewed in an interactive uh, shiny application with development from Nate Hall, Jamie Gilbert, and Jenna Reps and others uh, here today. And we're very specific, as you saw in the Save Our Sisyphus Challenge, we're very specific that we only unblind results which have passed study diagnostics outlined at last year's plenary and discussed at subsequent symposiums throughout the year. Where possible, we synthesize evidence across databases, and even when analyses fail, we have robust uh, uh, population level characterizations of our target, comparator, and outcome populations to support the uh, signal evaluation activities. 
This is a typical day, but our team meets twice a week and bi-weekly with our, our leadership, uh, with Josh Gagne, Courtney Davis, and Patrick Ryan, all of which receives excellent project management support from Ella Blue and earlier this year, Emily Yost. We have additional meetings with our global medical safety officers and our therapeutic area colleagues to clarify those requests. And so a typical day may have us doing any one or all of these tasks as we work uh, to develop and identify the needed phenotypes. We may have to work with a uh, disease advisory council, which is a cross-functional group led by Gautam Rao. And Mitch Conover and I have crafted a lot of standardized templates, so we're getting there, Mark, with regards to some presentations and standardized reporting so that we can deliver this evidence, both to the actionable individuals that will um, take action on our uh, 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 questions and answers, but also um, for our reporting. So here's the interactive portion. So uh, this is going to require some level of effort. This is my talent, right? Give me a T. T. Give me a C. Give me an I. I. Give me an O. o. What's that spell? Strategist. I know. You all thought I was going to say uh, uh, TCIO. Um, thank you. That's my only talent. Please stick around for the talent show. I, that's, that's it. Uh, this is a snippet of code that from the strategist tool. Um, this creates the JSON specifications. And as you can see, it takes the inputs of a target ID, comparator ID. This looks simple because you're only editing above this line. As Martin has told us multiple times, you probably don't want to change below this line. Uh, but there's a lot of work that goes into each of these requests to clarify uh, each of these Atlas cohorts as we build this out. And we specify the negative control concept set. We specify our, our times at risk. And all of this is developed um, very collaboratively. Um, so to learn more, please see one of our team members or stop by poster 507. Um, I really thought that the Oscar music was going to be playing by now, but I guess I, I speak fast. So um, thank you, Justin Bond, Jenna Reps, Gautam Rao, Mitch Conover, for a wonderful year. It has been an absolute journey as we've implemented this across our organization. Obviously, the entire ODA team, the Odyssey community. I'd like to thank my manager, my parents. This is where I, yeah. All right.